So here I am trying to disassemble this axial flux wind turbine because uh, this windmill has very small output. I'm going to try to add this stator to the bottom part of this rotor here. Uh, there's one stator in between two magnet plates now. So what I will do is after the disassembly, I will put this stator underneath. I will add some more magnets here. This second stator, when I first made it, I could get over 12 volts, but that's with a very high RPM and I can get a few watts out of this. But when it is attached to this vertical uh, wind turbine, I can only get maybe 2-3 volts out of this because the, the VOD is turning so slowly. But the 2-3 volts will be added to this first stator, so it's not wasted because it is now in So series. here I have mounted the second stator to the vertical windmill that I have from before. The vertical windmill I have from before is a dual magnet plate, single stator with six coils and has a very fine gauge, about 26 or 27 gauge wire. This second stator actually I was going to use for something else but I wasn't getting enough voltage so I just mounted beneath the second metal plate the saw plate and then I just added some extra magnets to the bottom so instead of two magnet plates it just has one magnet plate for this stator and I put the output in series with this first stator so I probably won't be getting a lot of amps out of this because these wires for the first stator is very thin, it's 27 gauge. Uh, I will get an additional voltage from the second stator. Uh, the second stator has uh, 20 gauge wires. I'm not worried about uh, overloading or uh, too much amps for to burn out the wire in the first stator. I don't think that's going to happen because this is not going to turn fast enough for that. So with a hand spin for open voltage I can get over over 40 volts. Right now it's 38, 30. about 41 volts now with just a spin so I am thinking of this windmill having low output but it will turn all day long because it takes nothing to turn this thing when it turns very fast it does make a, a very slight noise because I didn't really secure these flaps too much but it's not going to be a problem they're not going to fly off uh, anytime soon so the wiring is kind of messy I haven't really finished securing everything yet I'm pretty sure it will charge a small battery so you see I don't really have enough magnets and I didn't want to take the magnets out from my from my uh, ceiling fan motor. If I were to add a few more magnets here it would close the gap and make, make it slightly better. But I'm not going to worry about that. So that's how this thing looks with the bicycle axle.